Okay, hi everyone, thanks for uh, checking this out. We're doing a dual showman demo here today. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. I'm not going to, truth be told, I'm not going to demo the distortion channel because, um, well, one, it's broken, and two, when it did work, it wasn't that great to begin with, or at least I couldn't get a good sound out of it. Maybe, maybe someone else could. You can um, run this in parallel mode, and what I mean by that is you can run the, uh, if you use one of these inputs here, you can run the clean channel along with the distortion channel simultaneously and kind of do that kind of clon type thing where you, you know, blend, you, you dime the distortion out and then you blend in the clean sound. Uh, I've never really done that. I was never really a big fan of this, uh, this uh, distortion um, channel. Uh, really what we're going to be focusing on today is the left side of the amp here, um, the clean sounds, and also really the damping switch here. Uh, I started out with the damping switch in medium. Uh, what the damping switch does, it dampens, uh, I think, the output transformer. Uh, sure someone can correct me on that uh, in the comments. But you're going to see um, on the high setting, that's when the damping is, is the strongest. Uh, it cuts the output the most and affects the EQ. Uh, also, uh, when you run it on low, um, you'll see this thing runs wide open and, uh, but I kind of like the, um, the medium setting the best, it, more of a V sound, uh, in the, in the, in the EQ. Um, and, um, and also worth mentioning, and I don't know if this is a one for one, you know, my friend has the evil twin, the eighties version of this or the twin, I, I think it's what it's called, but it's the red knobs. This one doesn't have reverb, his has reverb, but other than that, it's almost the same damn thing uh, with, uh, with the way the inputs are, the way the uh, channel switching, or rather the, um, the um, EQ settings on the, on the knobs, the push-pull knobs that they have here. Uh, also the damping switch, I believe, is on his. And uh, we're gonna be running this in 25 watt mode. Uh, you can see I'm running this at, I think, three o'clock right now, or three, not three o'clock, but three. Uh, I will boost it all the way up to about 75%. You'll see how well it maintains its clarity, even um, nearly dimed out on 25 watts. Um, so first thing I want to demo, though, is the um, is, is this. I want to talk about this mid knob right here. Um, you pull this out. It's kind of a mid s scoop, and you get that um, real, what I think works best with single coils. Um, and again, before we get too far ahead of myself here, uh, the guitar I'm using is uh, my Forsagi Custom Instruments Hollow Body Stratocaster. Um, it's not a cheap guitar, but it's not a, like I said in other videos, it's by no means uh, the price of a Masterbuilt Fender or Gibson, um, although I think it's probably better quality. I'm a little biased. And in any case, it's uh, expensive, but not, you know, not, oh, it's not an $8,000 guitar. So, um, EV12. ML, EV12L, um, it's the EV speaker in here. It's a $300 speaker. Uh, so that also is, uh, is, you know, plays a lot with the sound. Uh, but in any case, back to the mid setting on this. I've got the mids pulled out. So there's in, there's out, and just to demo it, you're going to hear the biggest difference on the humbucker uh, with the bridge. So we'll jump into that real quick here. So again, that's with this uh, mids out. <laughs> track here so you can kind of hear it live that's in You can tell, you know, with them with the mid pushed in, you're getting a little bit more volume. Obviously, you're getting more mids. Uh, so that's more. That's where humans hear the best is the mid range. So when you boost the mids, it's gonna, you know, appear louder or 
hear it sound louder. So um, the other thing I really want to get it now. Notice here, I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, but notice I've got the bass rolled all the way off. Um, I use 11s, so just to kind of demo that real quick, you know, uh, this is the neck pickup now in single coil mode, if you will. Very bassy, very, very quickly. It's, it's almost ridiculous, you know, how bassy it is. So uh, leave it pretty much off. Um, let's go ahead and um, demo the, the damping now. Again, I'm just going to uh, play the backing track here and just go through the damping settings. I'm going to start on medium, then go to high, and then go to low. And you'll see how different it is, the, how dramatically different it is from high to low. So, again, I'm going to start on medium. Now high. So you can tell, you know, just with the damping switch alone, you get more output, you get some uh, more, you know, I think a broader range of frequencies. It's almost like you're taking the, a muffler off of a speaker or taking the, you know, the windscreen off of a microphone, if you will. Um, I don't know if those are the, you know, accurate analogies, but you get the idea. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, um, I, I, I want you to hear, uh, I want you to hear this thing on uh, close to close to maxed out on 25 watt mode. I'm not gonna demo 100. It's just it's it's ridiculous. So uh, if you do purchase one of these, be warned. I put this on the scale. This thing weighs 55 pounds, just the head. Um, so you know, be prepared what you're getting into when you buy one of these. Uh, but I am impressed though how clean this thing, you know, how well it maintains its its clarity and its 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 overall clean tone. Uh, when you dime it out. So just, you know, um, again, outside the loop, just so you can hear it, you know, in, in, a, in real life, so to speak. So... Neck pickup single coil. We'll go to the bridge very quickly. Start, starting to break up there. Uh, bridge single coil, if you will. Now, before I get the cops called on me, <laughs> so. Uh, I do want to go ahead and demo the uh, just some overdrive sounds on it for you. I've got the um, the new Queen of Tone here by Nuex, or however it's pronounced. I pronounce it Nuex. Some people say Nux, Nukes. I don't know. Nuex for me. Uh, I've got it on. Uh, we'll do. I'll do a demo of that later, a different video. But um, just so you can hear, it's going to be the Horseman, which is the Kalan clone that they do uh, into this clean channel. We'll do a, a little vamp over the um, over the backing track I got here. So.